Okay, so we're back on the five window coupe. Um, this car was pretty cool where we found it. It was found in the backyard of a lady's house that pretty much forgot about the car. I mean, no one even knew where it was at. Um, anyway, we've so far we've built a chassis for this car. We've got a motor sitting up here from turnkey that's gonna go in this thing. Um, but before we get going into that, we're gonna chop six inches out of this thing. I think that these coupes look good with a six inch chop. Um, as you can see, I've kind of put a couple black lines right here already to get started. Um, Justin's gonna go ahead and start welding some cross members in here. So what we're gonna do is inside of here, we're gonna take this piece of tubing, we're gonna weld it in here like this, and then Justin's gonna start welding some cross tubes in here. So that way when we cut the top off it, it doesn't move. We wanna make sure that this all stays solid down here and nothing moves. Um, most of the time you probably don't have to do that, but we just wanna be safe that when we go to put it back on, everything lines up good. So if you wanna TIG weld it back together or torch weld it back together, it's gonna um, work really good. Um, I've taken the, the window bezels out. So these, these windows should just pop out like this. I'll take these out too. get a hold of that. I don't want to break them because they're actually look like old glass. Kind of in a weird place to do that. Okay. So there we go. We got the glass out of it. So as you can see now, we're going to probably chop from about here into here. We want to try to keep this flat spot right here. You'll see that this curve We'll just start to make this curve after it gets chopped. So this whole section will be gone right here. All the way through the back, the back window will come down to being about four inches right here. So it's really cool. These, these little coops look good chopped. So you'll see how it goes here in just a minute. curve so you think it's easy you do we did six inches here on this window and we came over and we marked six inches on this window but if you're doing it with tape or something like this when you go line to line draw your first line but when you go to do your second one the center of this could be bowed a little bit especially when you use tape so make sure you come off this line and you find the center and make another six inch mark so that way when you make your second line even if this one is bowed a little bit if you make that center line this one will follow so that way when you cut it out it's all going to fit nice together and it's not going to open up to a gap Okay, so when you're chopping the car, we always cut the top lines off first, take the lid off, and then the bottom line. Because if you cut the bottom line, then you're gonna have to fight the floppy top trying to cut that top line. It stays a little bit more solid and it's easier to cut if you keep that piece on the body itself. So cut the top line, take the lid off, and then come back and cut the bottom line. A lot easier. That's tip of the day right there.
brain surgery, right? You take the cap off, and then you get in and do all the pull brain it off, work. Right? You ready? Yep. Look at that. Beautiful. It's got a lot of mud in it. It's heavy. It's heavy. Okay. Ta-da! Next, next verse, same as the first. Okay, so we got the six inch chop done on this car. It looks pretty good as you can see. If you stand back, take a look at it. It's just way more hot rod looking. I mean, this this is one of my favorite body styles. The the 3031, they're a little easier to come by than a 32 or 33 or 34. So they, uh, it doesn't really hurt me to cut them up. So chopping six inches out of it makes them look a lot better if you ask me. But before we weld the top on, we're gonna we're gonna clean all the joints up and make sure everything blends and fits right. There's gonna be some shaping and fitting that we have to do. There's gonna be some sanding that needs to go on back here to get these gaps out so it sits down nice and, and flush. But before we do that, we're gonna put a roll cage in it. We'll probably put the steering column in it, probably put the seats in it, start working on the shifter, because it's a lot easier to work on the car without the top on it. So now that the top's gonna to be off and out of the way, we can start putting all the inside in, put the seats in it, seat belts, um, you know, probably the throttle pedal, the brake pedal. It'll just be easier to get in and out of the car. So before we get too excited putting this on, it'll probably be one of the last things that we do. So you'll see the car for a long time with no roof on it. It's gonna look like a roadster for a while, but it's gonna look good though when we get done. <laughs> 